Hey YouTube, this is Warren with the Fissionaries, and today I'll be answering a question that I got from subscriber Kuro B. Uh, shout out to, to you, Kuro B. Um, and what he wanted to know was, how do I find my fishing spots? Really simple question, really simple answer. It's easy, and you can do it with your Android phone. Stay tuned. first pull up your map it's going to show you exactly where you are on the map okay now what I do is I start to shrink the map till I find interesting water that I would like to look into okay now a lot of times we look at we say oh this, this place that place we're looking for Okay, let's let's hit this spot right here. And this is the spot. Here is a quick tip for those in the DMV area that are looking for somewhere. Mm, be promising. Free tip today. Oxbow Lake Nature Preserve. Now I've never been there. They have a trail down there. Um, that's what the dotted lines are. That shows a trail. These other ones, as you can you probably know already, um, is streets. And that really denotes a neighborhood. Yep, well, it's a neighborhood. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look around first. Okay, so I see I'm looking for entry points. So if you follow this trail, this trail shows an entry point right in the middle of this location of this street block or whatever residential block and it uh, the trails goes all the way down beside the water hmm. that is interesting and that's a straight shot okay now we have another entry point off this street and the trail actually dissects with another trail Excuse me, I didn't want to do that yet. The trail. So that trail. And then we contract it again. And we have a, yet another trail. Okay. So that's good stuff. That is good stuff. Okay. And as well as the little protection is over near there. Okay, so now that I pretty much got an understanding of how to access, it's time to track the access points. Okay, and in order to do that, what I do is I overlay the satellite layer. Okay, now the satellite layer gives me a lot more detail. So all those places that show is the one entry point there there's the other entry point there and there's the third one there now this is more of a two a two lane road so parking there is probably a no-go because I'm driving and here's a neighborhood with entrance there. Now there's a car on the side of the road here. Um, could be parking there be okay? Mm, could be iffy. Could be. Could be. But let me show you now this is this is for me, so this is what I'm looking at. You have the trail that runs down beside it. But I'm looking at this parking lot right here. This parking lot is unmarked, and in this area, it, if it's unmarked, more than likely it's visitor parking. So if I'm there in the morning, 
shouldn't be a problem. Now, I'm looking at it as far as how far is it away from the water. Now, it's a straight shot down to the water from that parking lot. Hmm. That is interesting. Now, I'm looking for the shortest route to get to the water itself. One, because I'm carrying gear. Um, sometimes you have to walk a good distance. If you don't have to, I try not to. Um, so that's why. If you come over to this other parking lot, doing the numbers, those are numbers or reserved. So what that's denoting is that you can't park there because people get upset. And what you want to do is, when, especially when you have to go through neighborhoods to get to these good fishing spots and stuff like that, you want to make sure that you, you know, you're as polite as possible, um, and you don't, you're just not a nuisance to the neighborhood. And then people don't really don't mind. If you're going to be a nuisance, then you know you don't want that type of trouble. So I'm looking there as my entry point. I can park there, short walk through the woods. Now, one thing that this shows, I don't know if it shows up well. Um, is that these woods aren't super, super thick. You can actually walk through these woods down to the trails or some bushes, some undergrowth, um, but doesn't seem like much. Now, over to the lake itself. Now, this is Ox Lake Nature Reserve. Preserve. Okay, so this is actually ran by the state. And what I'm actually looking for is that my point of entry is interesting because this area down here, water, it has open pockets. It looks very, very froggy. Um, some flipping and pitching. Oh yeah, that looks that looks awesome. That looks awesome. So if I if I go to this place. I want to hit it first thing in the morning. As soon as the bite changes, um, frog bite changes, I want to go and I want to look to do some flipping and pitching or both of those at the same time. Some surface action. Frogs, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I love frogs to death. So that will probably be my first go to top water in the morning, of course, like everybody else. Um... But definitely because of the amount of vegetation, flipping and pitching, definitely. Um, and this looks like my type of place. So, now, I'm going to go back to the default layer. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to find that entry point again. And I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put a, I'm going to drop a pin right there. So that's where I want to go. Now. Next step, your directions are going to come up. Hit directions. It's going to show you exactly how to get there. I am five miles, 12 minutes away. And it's just that simple. The next thing to do is actually jump in the car or jump on the bike and ride over there. Actually get down there and see. Take my rods just in case. Um, that And that's basically my process every time doing recon on a new potential spot. I am planning to go there soon, so I will be posting a video um, about the fishing there. Okay guys, so that's how I find my fishing spots. And I hope that was useful for you. You can use, again, you can use your PC, you can use your smartphones, it doesn't matter as long as you have uh, a mapping app, you know, directions, GPS. You know, as long as you have that, you can find almost anywhere that's interesting. So now my next step is to actually go and look around. Um, even take some rods with me just to just to look around, get a feel for the place. So I hope you enjoyed this this video. Uh, hit that like button if you did. If you want to see more, hit that subscribe button. So until then, have a good time. Get out there on the water. Go fishing and fish everywhere.